prayer at least to protect his legacy because the last six years um, or five years or so has been very troubling for this man, Mr. President. And I can imagine what he's going through at the moment because we are just hammering on him and hammering on him. So we have to understand he's going through a lot on his own. Nobody wants to see failure confronting him. But at the end of the day, the decision will have to be his own and his own only. So as far as I'm concerned, any psycho fan can say Abakari has been the best thing that happened to Buhari. But the fact remains the same that the majority of Nigerians are not happy with him. And obviously for that reason alone, I would not rate him as his, um, his tenure with the president as a very successful one because nobody liked this man. Everybody basically say negative stuff about him. And it cannot be just... If everybody is saying that you are not good, maybe there's something that's basically correct in that. So the president have had this time now to reset the button, to think about his government critically and see what he can do to bring his government to the people that elected him. Because so far, his government has not been in the hand of the people that elected him. That is why he has lost so much support in Nigeria. So those people that are advising him should basically um, stay away from him for now. I want the president, in my own personal opinion, I think the president should listen to his wife a little bit, to be honest with you. Uh, Mr. President has been with that woman for 30 years, so that woman is well loved by Nigerian people. Uh, a lot of people have very high opinion of her. She's uh, more closer to Nigerian people. I think Aisha Buhari should be more involved. The president should listen to her and her opinion, because so far the president has not listened to the woman at all and her opinion. And that is why you see the mess that the president found himself. Anybody who is telling you the president is the best president, is doing everything great, those people are not progressive, basically. Because I've taken my time today to actually read what it means to be a progressive. I can assure you, a lot of things that is happening in this APC-led government is not close to anything like progressive. It's not close at all to progressive. Progressive are government that fight corruption, government that take care of the need of his city, the most vulnerable people in the society. Now, now the thing will be progressive with that. What I am seeing in this government is not even, it's not even uh, conservative. It's basically clueless, clueless, clueless. They are, they are clueless of what they are doing. So APC as a political party need to go back to the drawing board. You came in with Buhari name, you won election, okay? And then you won election and these people can't govern. It is the reality from one state to the other. They are fighting each other everywhere and the president is missing every shot. I wouldn't say thank God. As God will have it, the president have a time now to reset the button of his government and win those people back and win Nigerian people back, basically. Nigerian people. Because most people that are very, very distrusting this president is Nigerian people. And he should tell those people that is handling him to stop lying. Like chicken lie. You know, lie like chicken lie. Lie that lies that you know everybody will find out later. Don't lie to Nigerians. Nigerians are too um, smart for you to be to be putting wood over their eye. They will see you through it and they will hate you. So I basically think um, the president should um, involve his wife and listen to his wife. And because you know what they say? They say every successful man is a successful woman. Okay? This man is not carrying success for the last five years. Listen to your wife now. Okay, listen to your wife. A lot of people need to leave that as a rock. It's opportunity to basically, people that you have around you have to be people that have your interests at heart. Because his government has been divided government. Most of his people in his cabinet are loyal to this man that just passed away now. I don't want to mock him, but that is the reality. So, now that he's passed away, God have removed him. You got to reset the button of your government, Mr. President. It's very important you reset the button of your government. And then actually... Um, listening to Nigerian people, okay? We have called you Babagoslo, Babagoslo. You can't be Babagoslo to your grave. You have to wake up and listen to Nigerian people. The voice of the public is very important. And your policy should be coming from what is going on in the society now, not what went on 1960. We are not in 1960, Mr. President. Because you hang all these people around you now. I'm hearing that you're going to pick King Jibi, King Jibe, all these old people, old clowns, okay, that you trusted them. In government, you don't. You are the boss. If you hire somebody and you don't see loyalty, you fire the person. So you don't need to trust them. They need to follow your leadership. That is it. Oh, I trust you. That's why I bring you close. No, you are the boss. What you say, nobody can overthrow you when Nigerian people is behind you. Nominate somebody that will work for the interest of your government, for your legacy, for Nigerian people. If you like, go and carry another clown. The same result. If you like, go and carry another clown. We will be watching you from here. You have a chance now to reset the button. Get some people out of your government. Bring your wife closer. Your wife, bring her closer. Nigerian people respect her. She has found favor in the eyes of a lot of Nigerian people because of her compassionate way of talking to the public. Use her more. It's very important. If you like, go and apply this conservative mindset. Nobody, Nigerian people will turn against you. You will even see it more when you leave office. You understand what I'm saying? So you are old, the president is old, and um, and not healthy. So it's not like a very high man. Your time on the planet Earth is, has been very wonderful. You've been president several times. 
Uh, this is the third time you are going in now. So it cannot be a failure. So use these three years to reset the button. I re-emphasize. Use these three years. All those clowns on the internet that keep on telling you rubbish. Leave them alone. Don't listen to them. Those are additional boys. Leave them alone. They have no job. <laughs> okay. Me, I'm, I'm saying my own now. That's what I'm saying. All right, all right, all right, all right. So share this page, guys. If you are, if you agree with what we are doing, share this platform. It's very important. We are not going to leave the government alone. Neither this government or the next government that is coming. We're going to make this platform a wonderful one. So you keep sharing it, and it's very important. A lot of people are leaving. I am wishing them good luck in their next praise and worship academy they are going to. But on this one, we are not ready for praise and worship. Okay, we get a lot of heat from a lot of people yesterday because we are talking about the barrier, the funeral that was unnecessary. Okay, so if you really love Buhari very well, do you actually sit down there and think what happened yesterday is, is in the interest of the president? This is the question I keep asking people that say they love Buhari, they're defending Buhari government on the internet. Because we're on the internet, so I have to address them as well. Do you think what happened yesterday in Abuja is in the interest of Buhari? Zero. It's not. So they will justify, they will write some crap and I'll be looking up like... You don't love Mr. President more than Mr. President loves himself. But what happened yesterday, as far as I'm concerned, has nothing to benefit Mr. President. Has nothing to benefit Mr. President. Okay? There's no point, there's no need of even live streaming it, call TV in, make a big show out of it, put it on NTA. It's such a oh my god, I can't believe it. Who can, who came into Asurok and give president this kind of nonsense idea? Like they sit down and actually think, let's AIT, NTA, let them come and live stream coronavirus victim dead body, Abakari. How does that one benefit the president? If you love Mr. President, those are the things that you would... Oh my God. Do you even think about the public? I think they sit down and they make a decision and they say, we are going to do this. And the president will not talk. I, I don't understand. Who? His family, his family member, his brother, maybe few staff that are close to him, just go and pray for him and bury him. And when coronavirus is over, they can do ceremony for him properly. Why do you have to live stream it with all this image that is all over the internet across the world? You just, the government that is struggling just sat down there and they carry another pin to come and knock on their head. And you think there's advisor in that, in that presidency? Even a chicken will give a better advice. Because if I am in that area, I will say, no, 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 no. It's no go area. First of all, we can't live stream it. We cannot do it. It's going to be a low-key barrier ceremony and there's nobody that will live stream anything from there. So once you do it, you release the picture and that is it. But look what happened yesterday. It was live so you can see every mistake happening. So if that thing was not live yesterday, you can alter it. You can know whatever because you have the people that came around. How that one take benefit the president? I am asking the Buharis. I am asking Buharis how that yeah, yeah, thing that happened yesterday take benefit the president. They don't know. Me, when they defend the president, now me, now we they protect this man's legacy, oh. Now we. Because they want they, the people, those people where they stay on the internet, oh Buhari is Buhari is the best president ever. You are the thief. You are thief. You don't know what you're saying. Because Nigerian people can see with their own eye. If I was in the cabinet yesterday, or maybe if I if I hear it and they say, give your opinion, how would they bury this man? First of all, you did not you did not give Nigeria an update about this man's sickness. Okay, the last update was a lie. The tweet about a week ago that said, I'll be back in my on my desk very soon. That was additional talking nonsense, basically. <laughs> okay, that one being gone. Then, the man now died. You announce it, the man died. Nigerians are still digesting it. You decided to go and bury that man. Then you say it's going to be a low key. It's going to be, the funeral arrangement will be done, family. The next thing is that you involve, inter you involve the whole international television. Oh my God. He said, Nigeria is, is, is funny. He said, Buhari government, I'm telling you, 